Brad Butler has played on both the left and the right side of the offensive line during his four-year career. It's appropriate that Brad has covered both the left and the right side because the Lynchburg native has a serious interest in politics. Currently, Brad is serving in an internship with Larry Sabato's Center for Politics. Brad is your Student Athlete of the Week. He's really made me a much better player. I think he's one of the best tackles in the ACC. Um, I go against some very good tackles in the ACC across the board, and really none of them challenge me as much as Butler does. I just think as far as offensive line versus defense line, it's a big chess match, and the offensive line is trying to to move the ball downfield, and the defense is always having to react to it. The thing about Butler is is that he I, he works so hard at everything he does. He doesn't care how how beat down his body is or whatever. He's always trying to get better, and because of that, he's absolutely made me a better player. In practice, I, sometimes I just wish he would just relax sometimes because he's, you know, if I relax for one second, he'll make an idiot out of me. He'll just, he'll demolish me. In order for us to get better as a group, we have to go out there and do the hard things that uh, go into the practice. We can't just go out there on Saturday and expect to play really hard. Uh, you have to go out there and do the different things, bags and boards, two spots, some of the different drills we do that uh, physically make you tougher. I'm just glad that uh, I had I had him to go against all the time to uh, to make me better, and hopefully, uh, you know, I made him a little better during the time too. This was the ultimate character building experience, and again, it's a rare person looking back on his career who hasn't had one or more of these instances. Uh, there are times that will try your soul, and you have to be able to deal with it. Brad dealt with it extraordinarily well uh, at a very young age. Now, I know Brad's character. I know, uh, whatever people say, that his intentions were not bad. And uh, it's a tough game, it's a rough game, everyone knows that. Uh, but uh, I don't think you judge a person by one incident, even if you take the worst possible interpretation of it. Brad was mature enough to move beyond this quickly. Uh, there are not many people who could do that. I know tons of adults who've worked for decades who couldn't move beyond a circumstance as painful as this one was. So it says a lot about Brad that he was able to do it and do it quickly. That's maturity and that's character. Growing up uh, in Northern Virginia, my dad was a lobbyist in uh, D.C. and just to be able to go there on the weekends and uh, get to see some of the famous buildings there, I think that just kind of sparked a interest in the whole political world. Welcome to the, uh, the Center for Politics. Obviously, this is uh, run by uh, Larry Sabato, um, part of the University of Virginia, and uh, I've been interning here for almost a year now, and uh, I've been very welcomed over here and just learned a lot. Uh, try to spend about six hours a week over here uh, when I'm not doing football. And uh, it, it's been a great experience, so welcome. Brand is a wonderful combination of uh, the, the fine athlete on the field and the great student uh, in the classroom, and also somebody who does a lot of things extracurricularly. The main focus of the Center for Politics is to uh, concentrate on uh, people getting involved in uh, politics and just getting them interested, uh, especially among uh, young people like myself. Speaking from a personal standpoint, to be over here and uh, you know, learn and uh, just get involved more has is, is really sparked, uh, you know, an interest in it for me. We had a, a statewide a television debate in this recent race for governor in Virginia. It was the only statewide TV debate. We had a very small number of people we could take with us to the studio. Uh, Brad was the only student we took. He did a superb job in helping us to pull off a very complex event that has to go perfectly because it's live television. Uh, so uh, that shows the confidence that we have in him. You know, we had a wide variety of people we could have taken, but we took the one person we knew we could depend on to do everything just right under pressure. See, that's what he takes from the football field, the ability to work and work well under pressure. Very few people his age have that ability. I know that if, if he's pursuing something like that, 
that uh, he's really going to go after it. Brad is the sort of person who, when he decides he wants to do something, he does it. He makes the time for it. He'll spend uh, whatever time he has to to make it happen. He's dedicated. He knows a lot of things that most kids don't learn until they're in their 30s or 40s. In fact, I know people in their 50s who don't know uh, some of the lessons that he's already learned. I think I want to go off in the private sector for a while and uh, maybe later on in life uh, run for office at some point. There's an honesty about him uh, and a down-to-earth quality that people naturally relate to. They have a very positive impression of him when they talk with him because he's real. And that's what it takes to succeed in politics. Surprisingly few people have that real quality. That's why most people who run lose, but Brad's going to win.